Finally tonight, we focus on an apple. Apple the computer, not the fruit. Correspondent Elizabeth Brackett reports. Apple co-founder Stephen Jobs has a favorite story about Apple's impact on the country. He told it this year at the annual shareholders meeting. I received a letter from a six and a half year old boy a few months ago, which to me completely sums up what we've accomplished in the last few years. And it reads, Dear Mr. Jobs, I was doing a crossword puzzle and a clue was as American as Apple blank. I thought the answer was computer, but my mom said it was pie. Instead, Scully and Jobs say Apple's future is with personal computers for the business market. To do that, Apple must attack a formidable competitor, IBM. Though on the darkened stage at the annual shareholders meeting, Apple introduced the new cable with as much hype as possible. Turning the connecting cable, named Apple Talk, into a glittering fluorescent extension cord. Stringing together a modest-sized Apple Talk network is much easier, for example, than connecting a VCR to your TV set. If our vision and concepts are right, today will be the beginning of an alternative to IBM's vision of the office. An alternative that starts with people rather than mainframes. Thank you very much. Not only is Apple a newcomer to the business world, it still suffers from what some business people see as a rather flaky, laid-back California image. Stephen Jobs' sometimes prickly attitude with both the business establishment and the press doesn't help. Jobs likes to deal with both on his own terms and on his own time. Uh, can you guys catch me later? Still, it is Jobs that provides the main inspiration and philosophical direction for Apple. Jobs, who insists the creative energy at Apple is as high now as it was back in the days of the garage. What Apple is, is it's an environment where we can attract the best and the brightest people to come together and sort of have a common vision about how we can change the world. And it's, it's very rare that we can actually put something back into the world.